Okay, today we are doing numbers or math day three. And you're going to do the back of the math paper you did yesterday. It's page 146. So at the top, you're going to see some combinations. And you're going to add your combinations. And then I want you to go back and check to make sure you get the same answer two times. Because if you don't, something's wrong. You've got the wrong answer somewhere. Okay? And then down here on number two, we have four frogs. And each frog is holding a little square. Yours is white, but I highlighted mine yellow so you could see them, okay? What Miss Morlock's going to do is I'm going to read a combination and you are going to write the answer on the little frog's square that he's holding, this little tablet. Now, parents may need to write these down so that Miss Morlock can go on and explain the, the bottom part, all right? Do you have your pencil ready, I hope? All right, so you can come back and do part one after we do these two parts, all right? So on part two, the first frog. The combination is two plus two equal, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna write the answer inside this little square. Two baby frogs plus two more baby frogs equal how many baby frogs? And you'll write that right there. All right. So let me go to the next one, and parents can write these down, and then you guys can go back and work on them when we turn the video off. On the second frog, my combination is 8 plus 1 equal. 8 flies were buzzing around the frogs, and one more fly came to buzz around. 8 plus one equal, and you'll put your answer to that in the box with frog number two. All right, let's go on to frog number three. Three earthworms plus two beetles. Three earthworms plus two beetles. How many, how many do we have all together? If we have three earthworms and two beetles, you're going to put your answer in the box for frog number three. Three plus two equal. And on the last one, we're going to change it up. We're going to subtract, okay? We're going to take away. Now, my combination is there were five Big, fat, juicy flies flying around the frogs. Five flies were eaten. How many flies are left to fly? If there were five flies flying around the frogs, five flies were eaten. How many frog or how many flies were left? So you'll put your answer right here. Did you know that frogs love flies? They do. Okay, so you will have. Uh, we're gonna do a calendar. I'm gonna start you out on the calendar, and I'm gonna show you where to start. And parents, I want you to do a May calendar this time. Okay, May, and here's what the May calendar will look like. Can you see that? All right, I'm going to start you out, okay? Class, tell me the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, help me, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are 31 days in May. Some months have 30 days. Some months have 31. February has 28, and every four years he has 29. But May has 31 days. So here's where we're going to start. May the 1st, look at my calendar here. May the 1st, you see him up here? What day is he on? Read that day for me. May 1st is on a Friday. So what you're going to do in the top row, we're going to come over and you're going to find Friday in the top row. And you're going to put day one. 
Well, right beside of it, Saturday will be day two. All right, then we're gonna go down. Now, here's where you have to be careful because if you're not careful right here, you'll mess the whole calendar up. So let's look at day three. You see day three over here? It will be on a Sunday, a Sunday. All right, now if you look on this paper, the line is a little bit different. So let me show you my book, what yours is gonna look like. So up here, you should have had day one and day two, day one and day two, and then you're gonna skip down to the second box under Sunday and write day three. Now let me show you how I did that. I'll hold it up right here so you can see. You see, that will get you started. You see how you, you have to skip that box under Sunday because if you come back up here and write Sunday in this box, day three, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, no, you're gonna be all messed up, all right? So here's what you're gonna do. Okay, parents, you might want to write this down. On the 25th day, I want you to color it red. Color that square red. But I also want you to read what day of the week the 25th is on. The 12th day of the week will be orange. And you're going to read what day of the week that one is on. The 10th day of the week is pink. You'll read what day that's on. The 15th day of the week is yellow. You will read what day that is on. The 22nd day of the week is blue, and you'll read what day that's on. The 13th day of the week is green. You will read that day in color green. So I'm going to hold it up for just a minute so maybe you guys can jot it down. Okay, then after you finish that, um, we have, oh, this is the fun part right here. Well, you have a little uh, skills pay paper right here that you're going to draw a baker, okay? You follow the directions up here to draw a baker. And then you're going to watch a different video and it's about frogs. I'll be reading about frog life cycle. And you'll have a paper in your packet today about frog facts or opinion. And then you'll have another paper on the back, the frog web. So you'll have to have an adult help you with these two papers. These are fun papers, and Miss Morlock's not going to grade them. It's just fun papers for you to do, okay? So you be sure and look for the video uh, frog life cycle, okay? Take your time on this number paper, all right? Do a good job because you are almost a first grader.